Well, last night's game went off without a hitch, both on and off the field. There were no major security issues at the ballpark, and police are hoping for a repeat performance tonight. The Pinpoint News Tracker takes you to Fenway Park, and that's where Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is now live in Boston. Well, I can tell you the energy has definitely been building up in and outside of Fenway Park. I've talked to a lot of fans out here, all of them telling me that compared to other World Series, there's a much larger police presence here tonight. More than 100 fans line up, hoping to get one of the last tickets to Game 2 of the World Series. They waited for hours for a chance to be inside. I knew if I came around this time, I'd definitely have a chance. Taking a chance, a huge chance. Um, I heard they're going to release hopefully about 200 tickets. I'm about 30th in line, so I'm a little excited. They all got a first-hand look at a change from last year's World Series. I'm not used to seeing so much police presence around. I mean, I'm yeah. glad they're here. I mean, they're going to do more good than harm, so it's just... It's weird that it's a sign of the times now, you know. Fan after fan says there's a major uptick in security at the games this year. You know, I mean, especially since the marathon, it's, you know, it, things are a little bit different here. So, you know, it's too bad, but it is what it is. I definitely feel well protected. Feel well protected. I'd rather stay here because I might, might move here. It's, it's so much protection. <laughs> From vendors to diehard rooters, everyone said they feel safe knowing close by someone's there to protect them. I feel very safe. Uh, I actually always feel safe when I got these guys with the bright green vests on. Um, I think everything's going to go just fine. <laughs> And being a little on the topic here of the Boston Marathon, local marathon survivor Heather Abbott from Newport will actually be honored at some point throughout the game tonight. Reporting live at the Mobile Newsroom at Fenway Park, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.